hello uh, everyone it's mike thomas um want to go over the real estate market with you and what you're going to see in this video is how is the market doing every time i turn around someone asks me mike how's the market and my answer is always the same it depends on where even in the same county different cities in the same county can have different markets and so i just want to go over a few things with you here we are, we are looking at Broward County. And the most interesting part that I looked at is uh, whether it's a single family home or townhouse or condo. And what's most important to me is month supply of inventory, right down here, it's month supply of inventory. And the reason I look at that is because anything more than six months of inventory is considered a buyer's market. Anything less than six months is considered a seller's market. So right now in Broward County, uh, if somebody came to me and said, Mike, I want to buy something in Broward County, how's the market? Uh, I would say if you're looking for a single family home, we are still in a seller's market, uh, which is rapidly changing over last year. It was only two and a half months on the market. That means that we have four months worth of inventory. What that means is if there's 100 houses selling per month, we have 400 on the market for sale. That means it's going to take four months to get rid of all 400 properties uh, if they are selling 100 uh, properties per month. That's what that means. Okay. Now, when we're looking at something different like townhouses and condominiums, and I look at a month's worth of supply, oops, a month's worth of supply, we're now over seven and a half, almost seven and a half months. When someone comes to me and says, Mike, I want to sell my condo or townhouse. How long do you think it's going to take? I'm going to tell them about seven and a half months. That means you have your property priced at market value. I do all the marketing that's necessary to get your home sold. It could take up to seven and a half months now. Where before last year, it was only 3.3 months. Uh, this is a huge factor. Now, if you're looking at prices over last year, prices are still up, uh, but it's taking longer to sell, both in the uh, single family and um, condo and townhouse market. Prices are up, but they're taking longer to sell, and that's Broward County. So let's take a look at uh, Palm Beach County. Let's see how we're doing there. We're at 4.4 months of inventory. That means uh, with the amount of listings that we have currently of five, a little over 5,000 listings, it's going to take about 4.4 months to sell those 5,000 uh, listings. Where last year, uh, there were less listings on the market, less inventory as we call it, um, of 3,600, almost 3,650. Uh, and it took about 3.1 months to sell off those those homes. If you ask me, how's the market in Palm Beach County? Palm Beach County as a whole, um, countywide, is still a seller's market uh, in 2024. And we are looking at the month of April. And we were looking at the month of April for Broward County as well. We're always about a month behind because the statistics don't really come out until the following month. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, it's not real time. There are no really real time statistics. I mean, as close as we can get, I'll, I'll show you some things that might give you a better idea. But here in Palm Beach County, the way that things work is that um, we're still considered a seller's market because this is less than six months uh, for single family homes right up here. And for townhouses and condos, we are definitely a buyer's market. So if you're looking to buy a, a townhouse or condo, it is a buyer's market. If you're looking for interest rates to change, you know, uh, my personal opinion on that is interest rate is, is actually for people who are not wealthy. The people who are very wealthy don't care about interest rates because they're paying cash for houses anyway. They're not gonna borrow money. They have money. 
Um, so who does it affect? The lower middle class, mostly. It affects the interest rates. I don't know if the government thinks that and takes that into consideration, but um, just my personal opinion, it never affects anybody except for first time home buyers, people that really need to borrow money to buy a house uh, to get the American dream. So in Palm Beach County, um, what I wanted to show you is there's different uh, cities in Palm Beach counties that do better. Like, for instance, in Palm Beach County, uh, the town of Jupiter, um, Palm Beach Gardens, North Palm Beach, Boca Raton, Delray Beach, Wellington, they normally do quite well um, when the rest of the, the county is not. Some of the other uh, cities that are not doing as well in Palm Beach County, maybe some of the smaller cities um, that are in the heart of Palm Beach Gardens, if I listed them or named them, uh, you probably wouldn't recognize them. But there are several, several, almost 100 cities in Palm Beach County alone, from small townships like, uh, you know, uh, Palm Springs, Florida. Nobody's heard of Palm Springs, Florida. It's very small. Or... Um, uh, Jupiter Inlet Colony, also very small, less than 400 houses in the entire city of Jupiter Inlet Colony. Um, and so what happens here is each area is different based on the demographics, based on what, how many homes are there. Uh, if there's very little homes, of course, uh, demand for the area is very low uh, because a lot of people don't know about it. If they do, uh, it's, it's a hidden gem. So those are the kind of things that I'm talking about. So when people come to me and ask me, how's the real estate market? I normally respond, where are you talking about? Real estate is very localized, unlike a car that you can move from one city to another city, to, from one, to another state, or even to another country. A house you cannot do that with. Real estate property, you cannot do that unless you have some type of mobile home. But really, that's not considered real estate. Real estate is the land that the mobile home sits on. The mobile home is actually considered an improvement on the land, not the actual real estate itself. So keep that in mind. If we go down to or go up to Martin County here in southeast Florida, we're seeing about the same thing happening. We're still a seller's market in new in single family homes. Uh, last year it took less than three months to sell off everything that uh, was on the market. Now it's taking 4.1 uh, months, but we do have more homes on the market than we did last year of single family homes. Townhouses and condominiums, um, again, it is a buyer's market right now for townhouses and condominiums. Whereas last year, it was a seller's market. Even And here, we actually see a decline in price. And if you're waiting for properties to decline even more and decline even more and decline even more, um, you may be waiting a long time. Florida real estate, unlike other real estate around the country, is quite different. I mean, Florida is quite different than Hawaii, Alaska, Texas. Oklahoma, uh, and all those other states. Uh, they have wonderful things to offer. Each state has something different to offer, and the markets are totally different uh, from state to state. Because again, you cannot move the house. Uh, it is located where it's located. And overnight, it could be a total you know, uh, move to a certain state. Some newspaper article may come out and think, oh, the state or the city is wonderful. And all of a sudden, there'll be a huge influx for that particular state or city. So kind of hard to have a crystal ball and see all of that. But as we move over into St. Lucie County, we're seeing the same thing happening. Single family homes at 4.4 months of inventory versus last year of 2.6 months. 
uh, still a seller's market for single family homes. Whereas for townhouses and condominiums, uh, it is a buyer's market. Uh, where last year, same time in April, we were at 4.7 months. And basically what that means is there are a lot more townhouses and condominiums because they take up less space uh, as far as land. They take up less land. Let me correct myself there. Um, than single family homes. Uh, and so therefore there's a lot more of them and there's a lot more supply than there is demand for townhouses and condominiums. So again, we do see the prices still up. Last year, uh, St. Lucie County was at 380. Now it's uh, 4035. Um, inventory is nearly double the amount of homes that are on the market. And so, therefore, the amount of time it takes to sell those additional homes have more than doubled as well, or doubled as well. When it comes to townhouses and condominiums in St. Lucie, we can still see that prices are still going up. Last year was 305. Uh, this year, uh, 324. And let me just make a note of this. A lot of people were waiting for the interest rate to drop. And what I don't understand is they lost $15,000 in equity over one year. Um, you might save yourself maybe about a thousand, a couple thousand dollars uh, by having a higher interest rate as opposed to the lower interest rate per year, but you just lost $15,000. So now you're at a net of maybe of a loss of $12,000. You didn't gain anything. Uh, the appreciation is much better than the additional interest you're paying. And you can always refinance a house once you have it. I mean, the crazy saying is uh, marry the home and date uh, the interest rate. But, um, you know, you can always refinance. And that's not never a problem with us here. Uh, in fact, if you call our office, we'll actually tell you how to get a lower interest rate uh, and tell about the time that these rates could be changing, uh, which is something neat that we do. We have a negotiation tactic uh, technique that I might explain in a different video as far as getting a maybe 1% to 2% lower interest rate now um, and buying a house. And then, of course, when the interest rates drop, it automatically will be switched over to um, a, f a lower fixed rate for you. Kind of neat. Anyway, uh, now we're Miami-Dade County, and Miami-Dade is happening the same thing. Single-family homes, uh, less than six months' worth of inventory, which makes it, according to the National Association of Realtor and the definition of buyer's market and seller's market, um, is a seller's market still. The property is still going up. Last year it was 600,000 for a single family home. Now it's 654. Uh, so if you were to have bought last year, you would be sitting on $54,000 worth of equity. And you may have lost a couple of thousand dollars because the interest rate was higher today than it was many years ago. Uh, but nevertheless, you're going to do better on the equity than you will the saving money on the interest rate. So my personal opinion on interest rate is 8% is normal, 6% is low, 10% is high, and anything lower than 6% is a gift from God. Um, when we look at townhouses and condominiums in the Miami data area, uh, we are looking at 8. 8.3 months on the market. If you came to me and said, I live in Miami-Dade County and I'd like to sell my condo or townhouse, how long do you think it's going to take to sell? I'm going to say count on approximately eight and a half months. Wow, huh? So that's a big, huge difference. Prices are still up higher than it was last year of about $30,000. Uh, so there's still $30,000 increasing in price, 
And again, you're not going to save that kind of money uh, with a lower interest rate if it were a couple of percentages lower. We have different techniques and and strategies to help you uh, work around those issues as far as down payments and price and those kind of things. So if you're interested in buying, if you want, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to go over everything with you and give you a free private consultation. Um, so last year, the townhouses and condominiums here uh, were at almost five months. Uh, and now the inventory is getting more and more and more. And so this is the real estate market from Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach, uh, Martin, and of course, St. Lucie County. Uh, remember that each county has cities within those counties and uh, those could be doing better or worse uh, than the county average. Uh, here is Florida as a whole and month supply and inventory for single family homes, uh, the entire state of Florida. I'm gonna just take a look at townhouses and condominiums. And we can see that that has changed as well over last year. Last year was three and a half months. This year, nearly seven months. Uh, and these are the, of course, the averages for the entire state of Florida. I can change that to any any place that you want, whether it's Miami or Tampa, St. Petersburg, Clearwater area, uh, that metro area. And we can take a look at that. And again, right now, the townhouses and condo market in the St. Peter, Clearwater area uh, is still less than six months, which makes it a seller's market. Uh, if we change that to single family homes, then we can see that that's three months worth of inventory over last year of less than two months worth of inventory. And we can see these statistics. These are statistics that we as real estate agents use to evaluate to see how the market is doing. So again, if you come to me and you ask me, how's the market doing? I'm going to always give you the same answer and that is, where are you talking about? What city in Florida are you talking about? Or even if you're not talking about Florida, I have statistics that can show you um, what the market is like in any other state. So if you like this video, please subscribe. If you think it was useful information that we gave you, that's wonderful. Give us a thumb up, a like, share the love, give us some like, and um, we'd love to have you uh, as a subscriber in the near future.